remember being on my job with no possibility of a future. And I will never forget the moment that a man walked up to me and looked me in my eyes and told me that this was the best I would be able to do. I got to a point in my life where I got tired. So I'm getting on the plane, right? And I'm walking all the way to the back like I, like I got to move so that he can get to the bathroom. I'm saying to myself, like, why do I gotta keep passing first class? Like, why can't I never sit first class? There are a lot of people who are biting their fingers in fear that they might lose their jobs. And I came to the resolve in that very moment that greatness would be my new norm. What he said to me hit me hard. It was a metaphoric, massive blow to my face. And like a wise man once said, you gotta pick your head up like your nose is bleeding. And right where they left you for dead, elevate where he told me I would retire from, that this was the end of the lie. I came to the results that I would not believe the lie. I could hear it in the air that the voice of destiny would reside in the place where he wanted me to die. I made the decision to fight for my future. future. Like, I'm not envious of nobody. I'm not jealous. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to be like nobody. I'm just, like, wondering, like, why I got to keep passing first class? Like, what, what's going to happen one day where I can sit in first class? Like, what, why am I not in first class? Like, why are they put me all in the back? Like, why am I, like, got a four-hour layover when I, like, they fly me from here to there to here to get back to here. I'm like, why can't just fly straight? Why am I not in the five-star hotel with the concierge? <laughs> like, why can't I get a concierge? And I get the place with the bread. Like, what's Why is his wife driving a European vehicle and my wife? You will not pause. You will progress. You will not expire. You will evolve. You will not crumble in the midst of crises. You may be neck deep in what seems to be a catastrophic storm of chaos, but I pray that in this moment, you will find the calm, the peace, the hope, the faith, the courage, the expectancy you need to live and not die, to move up and not stay where you are, you get what you see. And that is the formula for expectancy. I said, one day I'm going to fly first class. Let me tell y'all something. I ain't even like into that like y'all think, right? But I just love when my whole family, we all sitting in first class. And where I come from, they, where I come from, we don't fly first class. Not my whole family flying first. They like which Mr. Tom, this is the premiere. You might be in the now. I'm like, no, we in this section. <laughs> I'm not like caught up into that kind of stuff. I'm grateful that my wife can finally sit in first class and get a meal. My children are in first class, and this is not a standard. I'm grateful that my son is going to college and he doesn't have to take out a loan. I got tired. I got tired of being like giving 70 and 80 percent and not living the way I wanted to live. And this guy got tired. He started crying like, yo, what a, a shock is winning. You're broke. Welcome to the club. You're scared. Welcome to the club. You're not sure. Welcome to the club. There's nothing. I mean, literally nothing you are facing. Right now that the great ones didn't face before, it ain't just you dealing with it. Everybody got to deal with insecurities. Everybody got to deal with fear in you. I have to say, I'm going to get through this over and over and over until you believe it. The great ones fight through. Everyone has challenges and setbacks. That's a part of the journey. Can you please do a favor and get out of your head? You're still wishing and you're still hoping for your still planning. Like you've been planning this for five years to get out of your own head. But there are few people who have decided within themselves, I'm going to make it. Some people aren't waiting to be cut. Some people are moving on their own. Because they feel within themselves, I've got what it takes to make it. 
They're not afraid about tomorrow because of how they see themselves, because of what they feel that they deserve, because of what they feel that they can create for themselves. Because these people have decided, as they look at the future, as they look at themselves, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way for me to begin to create a way out of no way. And when you have that kind of consciousness, when you have that kind of spirit, nothing can stop you. Nothing. You cannot change the seasons, but you can change yourself. And see, that's how life gets better for you. Not by chance, but by change. Now, here's the four major lessons in life to learn. Number one, learn how to handle the winters. That's lesson one. They come right after falls with regularity. Some are long, and some are short, and some are hard, and some are easy, but they keep coming. You must learn to handle the nights. They come right after days. You must learn to handle difficulty. It comes right after opportunity. You must learn to handle recessions. They always follow progressions. For the last 6,000... Once you taste that success, I want you to keep deep. Once you get success on your lips, I want you to keep drinking. Once you understand the keys of success, it's not the end, it is only the beginning because you understand. Once you get that breakthrough, you finally understand what you're capable of. A purpose is bigger than the pain, and the promise is bigger than the process. And I know it's hard right now, and I know you feel like quitting, but you've got to understand there is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. Stop lying to yourself and telling yourself that you have time to see the greatest lie that you have believed. Far too long is that you have time, you have time, that there is a tomorrow. But that you can drag your feet, and you can you can crawl sometimes, you got to run. You can't crawl towards some dreams. You can't walk towards some dreams. Some dreams, you got to run towards you. What would your life be like as you look toward the future? If you decided, I'm not going to allow my fears to stop me. What would your life be like? What would your future be like if you decided to, to want that which you desire so strongly? That it prepares you past your fears. That you experience the fear, as the one book says, feel the fear and do it anyway. What would your life be like? And I'm saying to you that all of us who have been entombed by fear have the capacity to resurrect ourselves. When you are not filling your life with the things that you are capable of doing. So we all have some stuff that we've been given. And I don't think that it's optional for us to sit on what we have. Run, 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 run after it. Run like this, no tomorrow, run like you. No, you deserve it. Run like you know there's nobody else that can attain it. Right after it, you got a lot more to do. All you got to do is get out of your way. All you got to do is believe, and all you got to do, my friend, is to start. And I mean start now, there is a boat that you're going to have to take to this island. And when you get to that island there, many mountains you must climb, but in order to get to the top of that, mountain you got to burn the boat, you came to that island horn and sea for many of you, you keep giving yourself options, you keep giving yourself ways out. See, it isn't going to change. The lesson you must learn is how to handle it. And there's all kinds of winters, right? The winter when you can't figure it out. The winter when it all goes smash. The winter when it turns belly up. The winter when it won't work, when you run out of money and you've got a broken heart. See, those are winter times. There's all kinds. Economic winters. Social winters. Personal winters. When your heart is smashed in a thousand pieces. And the nights are unusually long. Your prayers seem to go no higher than your head. It's winter time. Barbara Streisand sings, It used to be so natural to talk about forever, but used to be's don't count anymore. They just lay on the floor till we sweep them away. You don't sing me love songs, and you don't say you need me. There is a mentality that must be adapted in order for you to win. 
It's called There Is No Tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. You've got to start now. The gift of now is powerful. This is a day that you have never seen before, and this is also a day that you will. Never see again you said the same stuff last year, bro, that was your excuse last. Here. I'm too busy, that's a good one, but not good enough. Why are you busy and running from your purpose? Nobody will help me. Woe is me, nobody will support me. Honestly. Until you start for real. Until you launch, there ain't nothing to support. People tired of hearing you talking about it, we can't help you. We can't support you until you get started. Start now, no time to wait. You have a purpose. It is imperative that you do not waste the time that you have been given. Stop talking about your imperfections. Start now, ain't nobody perfect. 